Shrewsbury, Shrewsbury at home. Gary, you sent three loanees back earlier in the week. Does that show that you, you feel you've got enough in your, in your squad with what you've got here still? It shows I didn't need them. I don't think we got enough in our squad, and uh, it's been lovely to have, uh, you know, had a full squad that was uh, giving it the uh, a right go and giving it a, um, you know, being showing that they they wanted to be made available if you like. And uh, I just felt that um, I wasn't going to be using them for one reason or another. Sometimes supporters have to trust the manager till the season's over that he's making the right decisions for the right reasons because you can't always sort of go public, but I just didn't feel the three that went back um, I, I would be using. So, uh, to be fair to everyone, including the people that are here, um, I, I said that, that we didn't need them. And does that also give a clue that there might be one or two of the injured players coming back into contention? No, not really. It doesn't give you a clue from that side. It gives you a clue from the other side. I mean, we, we when I first came in, I think it was about three or four days, I asked all the lads to sign a sheet of paper that you may have seen up there, because I see you all sneakily having a look up there at my note, um, to say that they promised that they will give everything to keep Cheltenham Town in the Football League. And they all signed it. Um, some signed it and meant it, and some signed it and didn't mean it. So, you know, that's where you have to... When you come to this stage of the season, you need everyone that's going to give everything or as many as you can for the course. That's what we. That's what I've had to do. And so, if if they're not up for the fight or the calls, then of course, you, you know, we, you've also got to have teammates that you re, you can rely on. So they, the team, the lads that are here need to know that they can rely on some of the others. And if they can't rely on some, then you you have to move them on, sort of thing. So there's. There's lots of little bits and pieces. I've, I've told you enough now, so I'm going to have to shoot you in a minute. Um, but um, listen, when I write my book on Cheltenham Ch Town, it will be revealed. Excellent. Look forward to that publication. I mean, you, you talk about trust there. It does sort of and does confidence almost come from being able to trust each other? It does, because that confidence comes knowing that your mate's going to be there when you need him. You know, if you've misplaced the pass your mate's got to be able to try and get you out of trouble and work very hard to get that ball back. The team's got to work hard to get that ball back. If somebody's hit you a bad cross, you can't walk away shaking your head. You know, you've got to say, unlucky, I'll be there for the next one when you do put it in. So that trust in your teammates and that trust in your training. I mean, I swear to you, I've put every single um, idea, motivation, every single session that I thought would would help them into the last four or five weeks. And uh, so they can trust their training. Um, I'm hoping now they can trust their some of their teammates. Now, that doesn't mean to say you necessarily got the quality, but what it means is you've got the, uh, the mentality to go into a game to try and win it. It's, you know, it's, it's like a war game, I've always said it. You know, you, you, you've got to be able to Trust the fellow with a gun behind you that he ain't gonna trip over for a lack of fitness and accidentally pull the trigger and you've gone. You know what I mean? So uh, that sort of answers the question. And I suppose it also needs bravery to make the right decisions at the right time. Correct. Um, that's exactly what it is. You, you've got to have that quality in the first place to have the bravery to to make the the right decisions. But we have to make sure that the lads are nice and um, comfortable in their shape out of possession. And we've been really working hard on that. Um, but also, they, they've got to be comfortable in knowing the options so that everybody is a step ahead. If, if they know the pattern of the team and they've got the ability to, to play that pattern, then you can be five yards ahead, two yards ahead of the opposition if you're reading it before they do, if you know what I mean. So there's been a, you know, myself, Russ and the staff, we've been really putting in a, a lot of work to try and get the team into that um, frame of mind and that and that way of, way of playing that they're all all of one some of the time and we're trying to get it to most of the time. And obviously you brought the players back in on Sunday for training after the Northampton game. Have you had the response that you were looking for after that? We always get the response from from you know the ones that you can rely on. You know they 
clear as disappointed as you, I, the supporters, the board when they when they get beat, especially if it's a manly pandy performance like I, I believe it was at Northampton and, and Wickham and then Cambridge in between that gave us all that hope that there is a game in them um, and we need that as quickly as we can of course. Shrewsbury going for promotion, is there any way in which that can work to your advantage if perhaps they get a bit edgy? Well if they get edgy it will it'll work uh, into our favour but uh, they haven't been edgy all through the season, that's why they're up there. And uh, they're a good side, they've got good experience, they've got a good mixture, a bit of quality in their young players that they've brought in, quality in their older players that they've brought in. Let's not forget that they've spent a few bob as well. And uh, they look a team that can that will be, be able to handle the first division. Um, in a one-off game, uh, as you've seen in FA Cup games, uh, always the underdog has a chance, always. And the underdog has that chance if he shows that commitment and desire to make sure that their quality doesn't win the day. That you, your bits of quality come out that win the game, but it's your enthusiasm, your desire and commitment to win the game will basically get you the result. Do you look at the game and think, right, we need to win, or? we need a draw, we need to take it into next week, or do you just sort of go in there looking for the performance and then everything else sort of will take care of itself? Yeah, you're looking for the performance, it's spot on, that's exactly what you've got to do. But then there could be a million scenarios throughout the game. It's not the last game of the season, so there's, there's more scenarios sort of thing with the second last game, of the because it could be that Tranmere are winning and Hartlepool are losing, and, or Hartlepool winning and tra you know there's so so many um, scenarios, but we've got to be aware of all them, and we will be aware of all them on the bench, because Shrewsbury will be aware as well that you know if they win the game they're definitely promoted, if they draw the game then they're as good as promoted. Um, so you know we'll, we'll we'll know tactically what we've got to do come the last half an hour or whatever it is and. Sometimes you have to go for it a little bit if, if you find that you've got to go and win the game. Um, that's how we've got to start. We've got to start as if we're going to go and win the game and then uh, worry about all the scenarios after because it's going to go to the last game of the season unless Hartlepool win and we lose. And I suppose that's the, the nightmare scenario, which is, is the ultimate one you try and avoid. Of course. Um, you, you, you know, that's desperate. That should be the motivation to our lads, that you know, we don't want to, we don't want to be, uh, we don't want to be getting relegated anyway. Um, but the motivation is, you don't want Shrews be having a party on your patch. Since you brought the youngsters back in, often their loan spells, have they made a difference around the place? They have made a difference around the place, and that's a really good point. Um, there, there's some good players here coming through the academy. That's a Especially at that, you know, you get your Barry Williams and your uh, James Bowens and your Bobby Dowles, and you know, there's those, those three for me are pretty close, and um, uh, they're the three that have um, impressed me uh, since I've since I've been here, and I'm pleased they've come back because um, they have improved the quality of the squad, if you like. Now, whether they, I know they've had the odd game here and there, but um, they've certainly improve the quality of the squad and, and really that's probably why three went to allow me to bring those three to get involved. Thank you, good luck. No you know, have you had a conversation to, to say to players, go out and make yourself a hero, someone to stick their hands up and, and make the difference? Yeah, um, some, yep. they've all got to step up to the plate because they all done that against Cambridge. Um, they didn't do it against Northampton, I didn't feel. There wasn't really anyone that you thought you know, was giving it a right go, maybe Manny in the first half. Um, but we gradually got less effective and uh, more of them have got to be more effective. i tell you what does it as well, you know, you know, we've met, everybody mentions it, but it's so true, is that the, the fans against Cambridge, the, the different class at home, because it was our, all our fans, I think the fans made a difference. They, they tried hard, the, the, the Cheltenham fans at uh, Northampton, but the lads weren't giving them enough. Um, 
whereas and, and the Northampton fans, obviously, because of the numbers, were able to get their lads going, sort of thing, you know. And and we can do that at home because the Cheltenham fans did that uh, against Cambridge. And if we can get that again, I know they've got two thousand supporters coming, so there'd be a great atmosphere or seventeen hundred or whatever it is. Um, and what will we have? Three thousand, maybe, hopefully. So it'll be a great atmosphere, and it'll be like a playoff game again. This, I've said that these last few games have been playoff games, and we have to treat this one as it gets nearer. This is almost a semi-final or the playoffs.